The big story that we are tracking at this hour, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh has been summoned as an accused in the coal scam. Manmohan Singh has been summoned by the special court along with six other accused who have been asked to appear before the court on the 8th of next month. Manmohan Singh held the coal portfolio at the time of the alleged scam. The court has summoned the former Prime Minister along with top bureaucrats and industrialists on charges of criminal conspiracy, breach of trust and under provisions of the Prevention of Corruption Act. Industrialist Kumar Mangalambirla and former coal secretary PC Parak have also been summoned as accused by the special court. You know, uh, I'm really talking about from the point of view of uh, private Indian business in general and uh, private sector business from time to time does meet government officers. And as a part, that is a part of a normal calling program which private sector does and also represents to government officers on potential issues which we may have with uh, a particular government policy and request for the government to look at that policy. That is normal Indian business practice and therefore my view is that uh, without getting into the specifics of the case, a situation where business calls on the Prime Minister in normal course of its business and does request for look at a policy, uh, prima facie, it does not look out of the way for me. A private business meeting the government of officers at different levels is not unusual. Business must have the freedom and flexibility of dialogue with government at different levels and I'm going beyond parties, beyond specific governments, but as a policy interaction between government and business and uh, that interaction is something which is crucial for business and I would strongly recommend that we should protect the, that kind of interaction which is vital for uh, progress of the Indian economy. Uh, I think what my view is that without getting into specifics of the case, that uh, there has to be an over open line and a dialogue between government and business, and business must have a right to represent to government specific issues which may, it may have for the government to consider on the merits of the case. Former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh has reacted to the special court summons for him as an accused in the coal scam. Here's what the former Prime Minister had to say and I quote him here, I am sure that the truth will prevail and I will get a chance to put forward my case with all the facts. I have always said I am open to legal scrutiny. Of course I am upset but this is a part of life. You know you have been summoned, how do you respond to what has happened? Well, I respect the judicial process in our country. And I hope in any fair trial, I will be able to establish my total innocence. So, so the other point is, will you be contesting against the summons? Because, you know, Prime Minister, you have been, as Prime Minister, you had issued a statement very categorically saying your position on the Indalco. So would you like to respond to that? Well, I, I have stated before the CBI my position. And I have also, as Prime Minister, issued a statement justifying what we did. Sir, you have, the opposition has been saying that you discussed. Sir, the opposition has been saying that you preferred the. So, will you be just one minute? Will you be contesting against the, you know, summons that should be? No, no. Take due course of time. We have enough time. I like to discuss with my legal counsel. Sir, is it right that you preferred the auction route, sir? So you opposition kept on saying that you wanted auction route. Abab, you are doing a press conference. Well, now that court has taken inappropriate for me to make any comments. For any comments made at this stage may amount to contempt of court. So I don't think I would like to make any comments. So this, it, it did come as a surprise. And the court has taken cognizance. The court has not said that I have done something wrong. So we have to wait and see. I have absolutely no reason to believe that there are any political uh, uh, reasons for this. No, but as you said that they had closed the report, but now they you come at the question. The government has not done. Government has not played any role. No? It is the court which wanted further investigation to be done. So you can't uh, attribute any political uh, overtones to it. But they